Hello guys, today I will do a um, tutorial on how to optimize an avatar. Uh, there are some tools that you will want to install. So first for VCC, you will want to get Pumpkin's VM, VPM repo because we're going to need uh, Pumpkin's avatar tools. Um, you will also need Blender. The version I'm using is 4.2.1 and for Blender, you also want to get a Cat's plugin. You don't have to use it, but it will help with some of the steps. Um, if you're using 3.6 and above, you should get this one. If you're using an old Blender, you can use this one. Um, but I'm using the unofficial. So first, what you would want to do is uh, get your, your avatar set up correctly like the the real version um, you install pumpkins avatar tools and then you bring up the solution i've already done a green but we're going to do a new one with different clothes um, so the first thing you need to do is find in your avatar folder where the fbx of your avatar is so if you're not sure you can click the avatar click the prefab and it should find where the FBX is. So you'll, we, you'll do show in folder to find where the file is. So we have it here. And then you open Blender. You can remove all of these when you create a new project on the right. Do file, import, FBX, and we're gonna get the file. So to get there easy, I'm just going to copy the folder from here and go there and then we're going to import the fbx with uh, the main avi um, so we can have a look this is the basically the the fbx will contain uh, the whole set of clothes that the character can use uh, but we don't need all of this for our or green version. Um, the steps we're going to do in Blender is to bring this down, the number of triangles here, we need to bring this down to 70,000 70, or less. We need to bring down the number of bones to 150. Right now it's 409. And we also need to bring down the number of materials. So when you click uh, any of these mesh and you scroll down, to this uh, material, you can see like, for example, the bangs contain three materials, the body has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we need to bring this down, I think, to eight material. Um, so it's best to re reduce the number of clothes your character is gonna have. Um, and you can also combine materials. For example, if you have hair left and right, you could combine these uh, by deleting one of them and the mesh will become that material for all of it. Um, for now, let's see what we have. So um, the best is going to be to remove the long hair because the long hair is that's that's not very useful for a green version. So we can just delete the pigtails. Uh, we have this ponytail, we can also delete that and we'll be left with the short hair here. Um, there's a bun, so do we need the bun? If we hide it, you can hide parts with the eye icon. So the bun is just this part of hair. I don't think we need that. So we can also delete that and we're left with this. Um, there seems to be two sets of ears inside this fox and dog ears. Um, if we look over in, I think it's in here. You see, we have uh, shape keys. Uh, let's see what happens if we put one. So that's just making that. Okay. So not much there, but, um, we can get rid of one of these and keep just the other one. So I think we're going to keep the dog ears. So the best way for this is going to be to go in edit mode. And then we have our mesh that we do separate by loose parts. 
and this is going to be uh, all the loose parts of these. So we go back in object mode and we can delete what we don't want. So we don't want this, this part. We want to keep these. So these we're going to hide. We want to keep these. And I think the rest, we can remove the rest. So what we're left is just this. We can delete that. That's going to be all of these air pieces. Uh, what are these? Are these air pieces too? So these are like probably pieces of jewelry, metals. I think we can delete that. What else do we have? We have the tail, we can... Oh my God, that's a lot of loose parts. Okay, so we only have the tail and uh, the, these two ears left. So we're going to select the three of them and do control, control uh, J, which is uh, basically it's a shortcut for join. So what this does is it brings them back together. So we're going to rename this back to hair. And we can check. So this one was to make them pointy. I don't think we need that. Uh, so if we go back, visible. So we have our, our glasses. Like the main clothes is all of these. I don't think we need all of that. Let's just hide everything but the main. So the main, this has a lot of clothes and we're not going to keep all of this. I think we're going to keep um, just the, the hoodie, the bra, and we'll, we'll see where we go. Uh, and what's the secondary? The secondary is this. I don't, I don't need this. So we're going to delete the secondary and go back on the main. So to work with this, we're going to go back uh, in edit mode. We're going to do a different separation. So go in mesh. So there's there's multiple ways to do it, material or loose part. If you do loose parts, it's, it's going to give you like a lot more parts. We're going to do by material. So this one is going to be simpler. So if we go back in object mode, now we have one main for every piece of cloth. So we don't, we don't need uh, all of this. So what I have selected right now is all the metals. We, we don't need to keep all the metals. That's going to save us a, a material. Next, we have this shirt. I'm not a fan of this shirt. We have the bodysuit. I've already used the bodysuit in my previous one. Uh, I don't want to use it. So I want to keep the, the swimsuit. We're going to hit H to hide it. Same as clicking the eye. I want to keep that. Uh, we don't need the pasties as we're going to keep the swimsuit. I want to keep the hoodie. Uh, we don't need... Let's see. So we have one material for these. I don't need those. We have the socks. I don't need the socks. What is this one? The trunks. We don't. Do we need the trunks? No, we already have the swimsuit. So we're left with the bandages and the skirt and the shoes. The shoes. Um, what do we have here? We have two pairs of shoes. So what's the difference? So, so that's those and that's those. I don't think we need these. And I, I'm not really a fan of shoes. They, they take up material 
So we're going to remove the shoes. So let's see what we have left. So we have underwear. We have a skirt. We have uh, this uh, polo and we have the bandages. Um, we're not going to keep the bandages, I think, because that's just extra extra triangles that we don't need. So we're going to hide back these and we're going to work on breaking this one up. So go back in edit mode, mesh, separate by loose parts, go back to object mode. Now we can delete these two and just keep this one. So now we have this as the main. We can do again our control J, bring these back together as main. So let's see how many materials were left. So uh, let's see bangs. So bangs, we have hair left, right bangs. So we could, we could say that's one. We have hair with a lot of materials here. Um, let's say that we're going to keep, we don't need the fox ears anymore, so we can delete those. Um, the left and right, we can just delete one, keep just the puppy ears. I uh, can't use that. I'm going to rename it here. Puppy ears. Uh, we're going to combine our hair with the bangs and the short hair. So now we have one mesh for the hair and everything. So let's see. New hair left, new hair right bangs. Um, we're going to combine these, so short hair, right. So with new hair, we're going to keep just the short hair L. So we're going to remove these. And now we have the puppy ears, the tail and this. So that's three there. The body, we have the rings. We're going to get rid of the, of the rings. Body, face, emote, eyes. So that's good. And then the main, we have the skirt, the bikini, the jacket. Okay, so that's, that's a lot of materials. We're going to have to bring this down more. So we're going to do the body. Um, one thing you need to check is that we don't break anything. So for the body, we have all these shape keys. I want to save that. So remember, you need to save often uh, because every now and then I have to go back, uh, back again because I broke something in a version. So we're going to call this Seki green one and save it. Normally I, I would have done a save already because we've done a lot of change. But uh, we, we didn't do any major things except deleting materials. Okay, so let's separate the body. Uh, edit. We're going to do mesh by material. So let's see what we have. So we have the body. We have the eyes. We have the head. Uh, oh, and this one, this one, this is the, the rings and stuff. We're going to delete this one and we can keep the rest. Combine again, call this body. Okay. Uh, all right. So body material we have emote body eyes face this is pretty much the minimum um, we can have four more materials so let's see we have skirt bikini and jacket so that's three here and short hair we have a lot here so i think what we're going to do 
we're going to get rid of the tail. Um, and we're going to turn the ears into the same material as the hair. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but we're going to do that. So this is just going to be the hair. So now we have four, three and one. So now that this is done, we can see that we're down to 98,000 triangles. It's still above the number that we need. Um, so what I usually do, um, you, there's two, there's, there's, there's the bad way, which is to add a, when you go on, on your mesh and modifiers, you can add what we call a decimate. What the decimate does is with this ratio here, it's going to delete triangles. So let's say I deleted half the triangles. You see the mesh is going to look a lot worse, but you're going to save triangles. So right now we're at 84, 85,000. If I don't do triangles, we're at 98. So we, we did save some. Uh, so this is one way to do it. Another way to do it, which we will use, is to delete parts of the arms that are underneath this. So to do this, we go in, we select the body and go in edit mode and we're going to do actual edit. So change here, your select mode, change it to face. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, to define what we want to save. So to define what we want to save, you can press alt when you're between two faces. Instead of just selecting a face, it's going to select the row of that. So we're going to to do something like that, but to, to decide what we want to save. So we want to save here. So we do, we do H that's going to hide those face and we can repeat that just to save a little. So we're, we're going to save up to there. I don't think more than that is necessary. Uh, and we can, of course, hide all of these, but it's it's not that important. By hiding them, it's it prevents you from accidentally deleting what you want to keep. So that that hand is preserved. Now we're going to go over here, do the same with this side. So what are we left with? That's still a little visible. So we're going to keep another one. So that's good. And so I'm just pressing H to hide these. So that's good. Now we need to save some triangles here so we don't delete them. Just going to 
to hide this so uh, it's not in the way. So it's better to, to save a little more than you have to, because it's going to be visible in some, some operations that you do. So that looks good. Uh, we can also save some triangles in the back. Uh, that's going to be a little harder because the shape is all weird. See, like it's it's when it's when I do that, it's selecting so many things. So instead, we're just going to go like save this. Yeah, so what's left there, we don't really care about it. And then we don't really care about what's here because that's there. But we're going to save this because this is visible. So all of that is visible. What's there is not important. All of this is important. We're going to go back for what's in the middle here. We can remove that. So all of that we have to keep. Well, you don't have to hide all of this. It's just precaution. Doesn't matter much. Anyway, so that's been hidden. This on the sides, we can see it a little too much. I'm not going to bother hiding that. Um, we don't need what's underneath the, the bikini. So we can also hide that. We'll be able to delete the what's underneath the bikini. not uh you don't have to be that precise it's just important to like if you're going to because we're, we're going to be deleting like right now we're just hiding but we're going to be deleting what we didn't hide so right now you can you can it doesn't matter if you do too many of them It's more later if you delete too much to get them back, that's harder. So that's pretty good. A little more here that is visible. So 
So that's good. Okay, I think that's good for that. Uh, what's underneath the skirt is not really important. So now that this has been hidden, we're going to hide the main and we're going to delete uh, what's what we don't what we don't need to keep. So this whole harm, we don't need it. So we can just do delete. So before we do that, let's let's save. Yeah. So we can delete all of this. So what you want to do is press delete and then you can do the delete, delete faces. You might need to rotate to get all of those faces. And you can see this is where we, we cut. So this is, uh, this is fine. Now this side. If for any reason you deleted too much, there is an undo, but don't rely too much on it. So that's the arms. Now we can go on the breast. Now for the breast, uh, usually I would tell you to be careful about deleting behind but uh, we're gonna delete the back anyway. So we can delete this and we can actually just use the alt select to delete more. Oops, I did the wrong one. Faces. Oops, again. Here, still good. And then on the other one, We got this deleted, now the back. Um, so we're just going to say, we're gonna say everything 
below this line, we're going to delete. Because that's pretty much what's behind. Like you shouldn't be able to see that from the front. So all of that back, we can delete. We're going to do an incremental save. This and we have this top here. All right, so that's a bunch deleted that shouldn't be visible too much from the front. Yeah, next there's um, this area at the bottom. This area is uh, not something that you need. It's not visible. So we're going to destroy this. So to get all your triangles back, you do Alt H, which it will show back again uh, everything. So you can see what it looks like. So the important is we don't really see where it's missing. There is some here but it's not too bad. Like, I don't think it's gonna be too much of an issue. So, we can also delete what's underneath this. So we're going to do the same principle. We're gonna hide what is visible and keep what isn't. So I think that's good. Now we can hide these and just delete uh, this middle part. And we can delete up to about here. Yeah. And in the back about there okay so all of this in the middle we can remove
All right, so how's that look? That looks good. So if we show again, so all of this is no longer existing. So I think we did a really good job because we're down to 43. 43,000 triangles. We went overboard. No, we're back to 90,000. See, when you're in edit mode, you don't know the triangles yet. So now, even though they're not there, you're still at too many triangles. So uh, what I would usually do is I'm going to affect the other one with decimates. Um, so for the hair, let's see, we do 0 0.5, 0 0.5 doesn't look too bad, we could even go maybe for 0 0.4, it's now what down to 78, and we can add some to the clothes, decimate, and let's go with the 0 0.8, almost there, 0 0.7, Point six eight. There we go. So it does look a little worse, but it won't really, it won't really matter. The hair is in a bad shape though, but it should be fine. So uh, once you got your decimate done, do an incremental save, and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this change. So to apply the decimate. What you do is you do uh, export as FBX. Now, uh, I usually use a preset that I name Unity. Uh, for this, you do apply scaling FBX unit, forward minus Y, Z up. You space transform, plan unit, and the important one is the apply transform. So when you do this, it will apply your decimate to your exported file. So we're going to call this Seki Green 1, export, and then we're going to do a new file. Uh, we can save, and then we import our FBX. Why? Okay, there we go. Uh, import. We can remove these again. So now we don't have the decimate anymore, but we have our or heavy at 69. Now for the cat's tool, this has uh, options to do things like uh, combining material, combining meshes, um, there's stuff with tracking. I, I don't really know everything. Uh, bone parenting. I was told there was something to do in this tool to be able to remove bones that you don't need anymore, but I'm not sure how that is. Maybe this button bones. We're going to save and try it. Optimize bones. Mesh body to merge. I have no idea. Merge weights, zero weights, delete. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. I think I want. Zero weight bones, cleans up the bones hierarchy, deleting all bones that don't directly apply to any vertices. Don't need to see plan to use fixed model. Constrain, remove constraint between bones causing specific bone movement as these are not used by Richard. So let's let's do keep bones with twist. Uh, let's let's do this and try deleting zero weight bones and see what happens. So it deleted all those hairs that we didn't need. That's good. Z 
zero weight vertices group. Okay. So it did delete bones that we didn't need. So we're down to 200. We still need to delete 50 bones. So let's see what we have to play with. So we do have some skirt bones. We have a lot of hair bones. We have the tail bones. Um, so to merge the bones, what I usually do is I will combine some of them. Um, it's going to reduce the movement. So to, to modify the bones, you go, you select the armature and you go edit mode. So what I usually do is I will combine like in groups of two, the bones. So you click one, you, you control, you click the second one, and then you can uh, dissolve bone, which will make them into just one bone. And you can do that again. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. So it's dissolving that way. Okay. Let's, let, let's undo this. Can we merge? So there's a merge, merge the given percent of bone together. Oh, okay. Maybe we can try that. So let's say we do this, the whole tail. Control and this, no, this and this, and we do merge 50%. Merge the given percent of bounds again. This is filled to reduce the amount of bounds by, but it is, this, this did nothing to merge here. With, oh, hold on, it did. So I don't know what it merged. Nothing. So can I say on the hair, merge the skirt on the, do we have the tail? So this doesn't say anything. Bang road. Can you merge the bang road? It deleted a bunch of bounds. Uh, here root. Sakura bounds. I'm surprised there's nothing mentioning the What if I do keep bones with a twist? Oh, there we go. If I refresh, now it's different. Ribbon. So to remove four bones, uh, if I do this, no, this, do we not have I don't know. So we're going to manually do the, the dissolve. So, um, so what are these? These are the The ribbon, do we even have the ribbon? Yeah, we don't have the ribbon anymore. So I don't know why this is here. We can just delete the ribbon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
What's this one? That's the tummy. We can keep that. That's the boobs. That's that hair. That's the back hair. How many bones are we at? 179. So what I think I will do is try to combine these top ones. This doesn't do anything. There's another tool that I use called Nyan Tools. Um, I use this to to merge bones, but I think we can just dissolve them like this. It's gonna reduce our tail because we don't we don't really need the tail that much. So that should be fine. We're going to dissolve the back hair too. Not sure why dissolve isn't working. Um, I can use so the Neon tools. Uh, I would Google it to see how to install it. Um, you can get it from this website. Uh, and you add it to Blender. So I'm not on the latest, there's been a fix, uh, but it's fine. So the way to use it is you, you create, you, you first select your amateur, create a new avatar. We're going to call this one Saki. And we, we're not gonna use the export function, but you can call it Saki. .fbx. And then what we do is we can do dissolve bounds. So the way to dissolve bounds is you select and say the bone that you want to dissolve. Say so this, this tree and you do dissolve bounds. So we don't need these at the back to have that much flow because they're at the back anyway. So I think we're getting close. Can dissolve this one too. That's looking to be 150, that's good. 150. Maybe we can dissolve these two just to be on the safer side. 
we're going to keep the ears as is. And I think we're going to do this one on the safer side. So 145 bones. So we have our bone is good. Our number of triangles is good, 69. We also have our number of materials down, one for the hair, three for the clothes, and four for the body. Um, we also need not this many meshes, so we're going to combine uh, the mane and the hair together with Control J and call this clothes. And um, is there any, so one thing I, I also usually check, we're going to turn off the armature, is I check if all the blend shapes are okay. Because there's some blend shapes you can apply. So if I click on the body and I go to data, some of these shapes might uh, that might need to be changed. Um, but I don't see any issues anywhere. So we're good. So we're going to do a new save and then we're going to select this, do export FBX, call this Saki Green, new. We're going to make sure that we preset to Unity and export. And now we can go back in, in Unity. It's going to be importing all our FBX and our Blender files, but we only need the Blender file. Okay, so these are all our files we did and our new one. This is the one we're going to work with. The others, we, we can ignore them. So on your file property for the new file, go to model, make sure you check read write uh, and blend shape normals, you put it to none. Then go to rig, make it humanoid and do apply. And if there's no errors, you're good. Uh, usually I go check configure, make sure that my chest isn't missing because sometimes the chest is missing. So upper chest, we don't have one. That's optional head. Nothing on the head is missing. So we're all good, done. Nothing needs to be modified on our green. Uh, so we're going to drag this file on our, on our area like this. So we have this new one here, but this, this has no property on it. So remember that tool we installed pumpkin. So we're going to go to tools, pumpkin avatar tool, and we're going to use this to copy our information. So in the avatar, you drag your new one. And then in the copy from you drag the original avatar. So in this case, Saki, um, just going to quickly check what it already checked by default. Um, avatar description. That's good. We don't need any lights. Um, we'll, we'll just delete as we go. So just copy selected and then you can put that away. So our new avatar here, we can see that it copied all the, the face information correctly. If the face mess was missing, all you would need to do is drag it in this box. Uh, the eyes, if the eyes were missing, you would need to go look in your armature, look where the eyes are and drag those. Uh, same for the, uh, where is it? There was another one. I'm not sure. But yeah, 
uh, eyelid. So that's good. It copied our our FX. We're gonna go back to that after it copied our menu parameters. We we'll go back to that. Uh, we have our animator. Uh, I think we're missing the description. So if we go to our control screen, I'm just going to quickly enter my credentials. Okay, so if I if we go to our new character and we scroll down, we can see that there is some issues left to do. But uh, sometimes it will mention that we're missing a uh, a description or something. That's this one, avatar descriptor. All you would have to do is go on this one, do copy, and then paste it. Or, or it might be the animator that's missing sometimes. You just click copy. And then on your new one, you do paste as new. Okay, so we do have some things that we need to fix. So the bone colliders, the transforms, the components, we need to bring these down back to green. Um, so first, if we click on, uh, we're gonna go first with the, the red one. So you can click select, and it's gonna show you all the things that uh, are too much. So everything that is uh, white means it got copied from the other one. So we can technically delete an anything that is white. So um, the ribbon we don't need, the bell we don't need, puppy ears, ears bun. Didn't we already have the puppy ears? But yeah, we did. We don't need these. We don't need these charm we don't need uh, left so left that's a short hair we don't need the bond road we don't need the hair roads we don't need ponytail the puppy ears did we delete the puppy ears Because we have the ears here. Oh, I see what's going on. I see. So this ears too, it's this one. So we can delete that too, I think. The butt. The butt root. So the butt root is, we have all the fizzbone here. And the Z skirt is here. So we're going to delete these. And this brings us back down to four. And then we can click this one to see the fizzbone components that are left. So tummy jiggle, tail, these strands of hair, the boobs, the knee, knee jiggle, Honestly, we don't need that, so we can remove the knee jiggle, uh, the tight jiggle. I mean, we we don't we don't need the tight jiggle. I I, want, I I prefer to keep the boobs and the hair as possible. So we're gonna keep the boobs, the tail, the tummy. Do we need the tummy? We can keep the tummy. The hair. There's a lot of hair here. So all the back. I think we don't need the back. So I'm just going to remove back until we get back to an amount we can use. Which is unfortunate to have to remove all of these. But yeah. So front we're going to keep. Strand left, right. So strand, strand left, strand right. 
right. So which which is more in the front? So that's right, strand right. So that's more in the front. So right. So these are in the back. Why can't I? Oh, there's nothing there. So now we're we're on orange. We only have to delete a few. So left. This is in the back. We can remove. So let's see. We have top, front right. That's that's good. can remove this one I guess and we just need a few more removed we have nine left air top now we're good okay now we're good we're good so now we're good which is what we want um next we have our sps we can remove that there's no sps on this um for the face tracking i don't really know how it works But we're going to copy these the fixed right defaults and parameter compressor like this and then uh we need to put our materials on our character so all of these material we can get them from the main one so uh, if we go back to body, so body is here, we can bring that on our body. Uh, these these have been modified by myself, so they might not look exactly like yours if you have Seki. Face on the face, eyes on the eyes, emote on the emote, hair. So, uh, we have multiple hairs, but we only have one hair slot. So usually just pick whichever looks the best. So if we go hair tails, hair tails, that's what it's going to look like. I think it looks good. Um, you see, that's what I used on my other green. It, it doesn't look too bad. And um, I think we don't have the ears. Unfortunately, we, we don't have the ears that we tried to preserve. I think it's because we deleted the bones. Unfortunate. I add them on this one. I think we accidentally deleted the ears bone. So something you, you need to check when you're doing things, don't delete the ears bone. Or it might be something, maybe it's a blend shape. Do we have blend shapes on this? I don't see blend shapes. Are they here, blend shapes? No. Unfortunate. Uh, let's continue, so. Outfit, uh, we have the bikini, we have the jacket, and we have the skirt. Oh, I think I know what's going on. I think I know what's going on. So, um, if you go on the material and you unlock it, there is going to be some 
uh, dissolve and discard. So if we remove the dissolve and remove the discard, our ears are back. That's great. And same for the, the jacket. We don't have the jacket. Why is the jacket not visible? So that's going to remove that. That's the ears. I'm a little confused by the absence of jacket. So that removes the back. So where is our jacket? Oh, it's because this is, this is the ears with guys. I'm looking at the wrong thing. We need to do it on the jacket. Silly me. So on the jacket, it's going to be the same thing. So if we go on dissolve, it should bring the jacket back. Yeah, there we go. So the dissolve, because the jacket isn't on by default, uh, it was removed. So we have our ears, we have our jacket, and it looks pretty good. And if we go back on the information, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's usable probably. Um, now to test everything is good. You will want to use the uh, gesture emulator. We're just gonna remove these other ones that we're not using. So it's the only one we have. So start your gesture manager and see what happens when you start. Like there might be something that disappears. Like you, you might have some stuff that, that won't look right. So sometimes I will have, uh, the ears will disappear or something like that. So we, we do notice here, there's a blend shape. You see, there's a blend shape being applied here and here. So I think that's the socks. So that's in, in the animation, it's applying this. So if we stop, see it's going back. But if we start, it's applying that, that blend shape. So the best way to fix that is going to be, we're going to go to the FX. Psyche FX, and we're going to make a copy of this and call it green. And then I apply this one over and then we edit it by double clicking it. And this is all the animation that happens. So what we can do is click the cog and remove the weight. Removing the weight means it won't be used. So if we look, for example, at the tattoos, we can remove the weight. Um, so we're looking for something about the socks. Fishnets maybe. Uh, socks. So if we remove the weight on the socks, and try again. So yeah, it's it's not good. Now I want the tattoos to be visible. So if we go here, does it work if we toggle them? It does not work if we toggle them. So uh, the best way to fix that again will be to go in our FX and find where the tattoos are. So this is already there. Am 
Heimat Swap. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. So, the tattoos is probably being modified by our parameter. So, we're going to duplicate the parameters. Make this one green. And bring this over this one. And then, we want to toggle the... the tattoos to be on by default. The puppy ears will be on by default, no fox. And let's let's see if this even works. I'm not sure. But I want the tattoos to be visible. So they're still not visible. So let's figure this out. The body, so tattoos. That doesn't change anything. So something is making the tattoos disappear. So body, that's our body. That's that's correct. Uh, the decal, these are the tattoos. But see this alpha, it's 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 locking the tattoos off. Skin tone. Oops. So it, it did it change this? It's saying FX. So the tattoos are still off. So is the problem that it's off by default? Like, do we need to delete this? Do we need to delete it at all? What if I delete the tattoos? No. Now it's working because I deleted the tattoos. It's working. I think everything else looks good. So let's see if our expression still work. The fist is doing something. I think on this one, it's just this side. So all of this is good. So one thing, one thing I didn't mention, but is very important. If you're doing decimate, do not decimate on the face or or in this case the body as if you decimate all of these expressions the face expressions will stop working so i'm going to upload this as saki green hoodie by me me you and we're going to capture from the scene. And we're going to upload this. Going to fix for Kaiser and upload.
there's one thing we didn't see that I didn't show that might be important to try. This is something that if there's an issue, we haven't seen it yet, but we would see it evidently when we go in game. Um, so if while this is building, let's go back to Blender. I'll show you the what we need to test. So select your armature pause, go in pause mode, and then try to find the neck. Then go to move and move it. If you see something being dragged, like I'm seeing this line here that I do not like. What is that? It might not be important, but it might be. What is this? Oh, this is the line for the neck. Yeah, oh, it's fine. So sometimes you will drag the head and some piece of, of hair is going to be le left behind and such like that. Or you can go and rotate. And when you rotate, you will see a piece of hair not moving and such. Remember to control Z to bring it back. Um, when that happens, it means that you need to delete something. So what I might do sometimes is is figure the part that is bad and go in in edit mode and and delete it so it's been uploaded and it's successful so now we have this new version of the avi we can use um now these materials that i put were were pretty pretty low we don't have many big files but sometimes you're gonna have a, an error that your texture is too high like let's say for example i, I took let, let's let's do that so i'm gonna go to the tattoos and instead of 2k let's say the tattoos are 8k so instead of 5 meg they're 21 so what you might see is texture usage is too high so what you need to do is go in all your materials figure which one you can reduce the size. So in this case, uh, we can put it back to 2K. Uh, I usually also put it on crunch compression. Um, the tattoos are honestly what I try to keep the highest quality and other things like the shirt, the jacket, for example, this file here. This doesn't matter if it's in 1K instead it's still gonna look the same but the tattoos the tattoos that's different if we if we were to reduce the quality of the tattoos like this spider here if i were to find the decal and instead of 1k i put it in 55 you'll see it's now blurred it's not it doesn't look good so we try to keep the tattoos in good quality. There's other things like the hair, for example. If we reduce the hair, um, where is the hair? There's, there's no files for the hair. There's no files. There's no decal. See, the hair doesn't take much. There's a mad cap, doesn't take much. There's emissions, these might take much. Two kilobytes, 170, it doesn't take much for this hair. Um, the face maybe, the face might be something. So there's these decals here. That's also something that if you reduce the quality, it won't look as good. Like this is in 2K, it's taking three kilobytes, that's fine. If we go in 4K, It looks better, but you're at one megabyte instead. So it's 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 balance that you need to do. If you go down to 256, you don't even see them anymore. You know, uh, we're going to to keep them in 2K. I think that looks good enough. Actually, it did look better in 4K.
And what about the tattoos? Would the tattoos look better in 4K? They do look better, but then again, we're over the limit. So in 4K, it's 21 megabyte. I can't really use that. You could, you could lower to normal quality. It still looks the same, but you're down to a point eight. And again, you're still at 90. So that, that didn't help at all. So even though it's, it's still higher. So we're going to keep it to 2k, five megabyte, and we're back to green again. So yeah, we're, we're going to go with this, I think. And we should be good upload again. So if you do have any suggestions on things to make the um, green avis easier than what I've shown, or if you have tricks or, or tips, or if you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. I'm still kind of new to making greens. Like there's I've made a couple of them, but the ways I do them is usually all the same ways. Um, so if you do have ideas, um, the reason I made this video is I haven't really seen many people do full tutorials from start to finish on making a green avatars. And sometimes it's just one section of the tutorial that they're showing like to do one thing, but you don't know how they got to that part in the first place. Um, there are some times that there's issues that happen while you're making the green. Like sometimes I'm going to be missing just one vice meme, like the sale could be missing. If your sale is missing, there was a problem with the export. Um, so go back to Blender try to export again. If all of the vice memes are missing, then that means you, you probably did a decimate on your face or you have the wrong mesh selected. Like if I put the clothes mesh here, none of the vice meme will show, but if I put the correct one, these are there again, because these are blend shapes contained on this mesh only. They're not on the other mesh. Um, so yeah, that's, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching, watching. And uh, if you have ideas for other things I could do tutorial on, uh, let me know. Bye.